Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, this was just total embarrassment before Eugene Omalwa, the party leader of DAPK, and the governor of Transoya, George Natembea. As I think this was well planned by the area member of parliament, Didmas Baraza, as when they meet in a certain burial in Kimilili, Bungoma County, and that area, Didmas Baraza is the member of parliament of that area. Remember Didmas Baraza is supporting Moses Wetangula. And Natembea has been always fighting Moses Wetangula. And even despite of that, Natembea found himself in Bungoma County. I've said many times, Bungoma County is the base of Fort Kenya that is being led by Moses Wetangula. Now, when Denmas Baraza was given a chance to talk, he came out responding to what George Natebe has been saying about their party leader, despite of Denmas Baraza won the election with the UDA party ticket, Didmas Baraza is supporting Ford Kenya and this party is the party is going to use to go for gubernatorial seat in, Kaka, in, in Bungoma County. And of course he's having upper hand support from Moses Wetangolo. So when Didmas Baraza finished his talk or speech, aliamua kutoka na watu wote kwa hiyo mazishi. Which for me, first thing, it was embarrassment before Eugene Omalwa and Natebea. Number two, it was so embarrassment before the, the church and also the family. And Didmas Barasa came out, storming out the burial with almost all people, leaving empty chairs. I want you to watch the video, ladies and gentlemen. But before you watch the video, please do me a favor, ensure you like this video. When you like this video, you support the work of this channel. Please consider liking, commenting, and sharing this video. If you're a visitor for the first time visiting this channel, please do me a favor, ensure you subscribe to this channel, you like, you comment, and you share. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much because of the wonderful job you are doing. May God bless you so much, I'm so much humbled. Let us watch the drama in Bumbaba. Iyo pepe kikuingia wanza iyo vita na uyo ulukua regional commissioner zaman na iyo kazi ilichukua na mutu mungine tasa hii kitilaku ya gavana ya tiranzoya ukianguka, pengine utakuwa mutu ya kujunga mwombe kwa parapara. Siko na mana iyo? Hapa ukiwa hapa kwangu it doesn't matter the position you hold. I am the member of parliament here, ata kama wewe ni governor ya Tirazoyo, ukipumua na roho, wai kupumulia kwa umbali, umbali, hata jirani azizikie. Huku kwangu watu wapigangi kalele hapa, mutu wa napigia kalele hapa, napigia kalele hapo, wanainji hawa, ile eshi mambayo wa menipatia, siwa eshi mambayo ya pure. Na muki wangea, muki ni wangelecha vizuri, neza maliza ni wangea, ni kaya ipia njimu wangea, lakini muki fanya na yu manu nienu yu, itamaliza alafu ni tawantoka na muna yu, na kuenda. Kwa sababu ya ishma ya kanisa Na mina jua hii viongozi wa kiyamuka hapo Kwa takuwa matusi Takuwa anatukana uyu Anatukana uyu Mimi ziguzi ni mokoka ni mutu ya kanisa Samani Ni mwona hapo hiko pijana vijana hapo Meraba mine meraba mine Na kwa sababu ya maneno kama hiyo Maneno kama hiyo ya kutambia na vijana Ya siti ya vita hapa Mimi ziwezi ruhusu maneno hiyo ya itendelea hapa Yo mimi ni kitoka hapa, niko natembea kwa hii parapari yangu pole pole hivi natembea, naenda hiko dispensari hapo na shuri hapo, naenda kuangalia kama walitekenesa vizuri yama kutekenesa vizuri. Mungu wa hapa reki sana.
Ladies and gentlemen, there's something that I have remembered when it comes to the politics of Didmas Baraza. This Didmas Baraza will literally embarrass you before his supporters because he knows these are his supporters elected him as member of parliament. So when Jordan Atebea came in that barrio, it was out of his county. Jordan Atebea is the governor. Transoya. At the same time, Eugene Wamalwa is the party, the party leader of DAPK. Natembea was elected with DAPK ticket. And that is why, day in, day out, Natembea is like seeing that Tuetangula is literally betraying the lawyer. Why is he saying that? Because he's saying that Moses Wetangula has been there for a long period of time. And for him, he's just fighting for his stomach, not for the people of Western or rather Bungoma County. So this statement is like making the supporters of Ms. Moses Wetangula to be angered with the statement. So what they are doing is that they are responding to not bear that if you are going to continue with that fight, we are ready for you and we are ready to embarrass you. But on the other side, remember one thing, Natembea has not relent, relented from fighting Moses Wetangula. He's seriously fighting Moses Wetangula because he's claiming that Moses Wetangula ya legit peleka tuko Na hata kana kwamba akisema IT and I represent the people of Western in Kenya Kwanza government, it is not true according to Natembea. Natembea said that Moses Wetangula is just representing himself, not the lawyer nation. And that is why Natembea is asking and requesting the lawyer nation, can we have someone who will carry this basket? of lawyer nation votes that if we are going to have political bargaining power we have much support from you but when you look at Moses Wetangula Museli Mdavadi they usually fight for their own stomach if they are getting something that is final they usually don't uh, even remember their people so Natame is saying enough is enough we cannot continue retaliating Stories after stories about Luya Nation unity, yet some individuals are filling their stomachs with that story. As you see, as we speak, Moses Wetangula is the speaker of the National Assembly. Remember earlier on, he was elected the Senator of Bungoma. When he was going to be elected as the Speaker of National Assembly, he was to resign. He resigned, they elected another senator there, and he was elected the Speaker of the National Assembly. So Natembe is asking, who is this from Luya Nation that Moses Wetangula is representing? So those are the statements. Statements that like is not comfortable with the supporters of Moses Masika Wetangula. At the same time, when you look at what Didamas Baraza did yesterday, it was to embarrass Eugene Omano and Natembe because these are two duos who are going against Moses Wetangula, and remember, Didmas Baraza want to be the governor of Bungoma County, and by being the governor of Bungoma County, he wants to go with Ford Kenya Party, not UDA, that he got seat with this. He wants to be the governor with Ford Kenya Party. And I told you here, 
anyone who wants a seat in Bungoma and is being supported by Ford Kenya, a bigger percentage of possibility is that you're going to win the seat. You are going to win the seat. So, Didmas Baraza embarrassed Natembea and Yijima Malwa to show that he is having the crowd. He is having the supporters. Do whatever you can do, but he is having the supporters. That is what this Didmas Baraza is trying to portray. But for me, walk out of Didmas Baraza together with his supporters from that barrio was totally embarrassment. From, uh, of course, to Eugene Omanwa, Natembea, church, and together with the family. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.